Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorial. My name is Sergey and this is the second part of our layouts review. Today we are going to speak about the layout tabs. Tabs represent the storefront pages. For example, home page tab is the home page on the storefront, products tab is the products page and so on. Well, uh, let's go back to the default one. Uh, the default tab determines uh, the look of the top panel, the header, the footer and uh, some other pages that don't have their own tabs. Let me show you. Uh, this is the top panel, this is the header, this is the footer and for example sitemap is the example of the page that don't have its own tab. Well, another example is uh, orders page for example. Now I would like to tell you more about the components of the tabs. Uh, top panel header and footer, uh, just like I have already said, is controlled by the default one. But you can create your own uh, configuration for uh, of the top panel for the home page or for example for products page and so on. Just click set custom configuration and that's it. You can make whatever you want. You can add box, you can add grids, I don't know, you can uh, deactivate some of the blocks and so on. You can delete them completely. It's up to you. Okay, next is main content. This is the most important part of every page. When you deactivate it, all uh, the contents, all the information, all, for example, all information about the products, all the products, all the categories will be disabled and uh, will not be displayed. So be careful about it. And by the way, when you disable the main content block uh, at the default tab, all the main contents from uh, the pages that don't have their own tabs will also be disabled. For example, you, your orders will not be displayed, the sitemap will be deactivated and so on. So be careful about this button. Yeah, I want to use the default one. And uh, well, one more important thing about the content of the pages. This gear button. Yes, it's not a picture, it's a button. These are the settings of your page. You can uh, choose a dispatch for it. Well, uh, those who know something about programming will know what to do with it. Uh, this is the name, the name of a tab, not the page. And this is the name of a page that is uh, shown in the browser. Well, meta description, meta keywords for the SEO, custom HTML code, I don't know if you want to make some changes in the design or add some information, it's up to you. And yes, you can make any tab the default one. Uh, for example, when you create your store from nothing, you have to choose one of the pages as the default one. Well, the position, that means um, the position of a tab in the layout menu. Okay, that's it about it. Right now I decided that I don't like my current orders page and I want to create a new one. So I add layout page, choose the dispatch, orders, dispatch of course, I'm gonna name it orders because this is the new tab and page title orders, yes, yes, I'm very, very original. I'm gonna skip uh, description keywords, yes, yes, skip, skip, skip and position uh, will be set automatically. Uh, automatically create okay and there is nothing here now only the content voice let's go this way yeah now I need to add the grid yes first you add the grids because uh, the grids are the containers for the blocks they regulate the position of information blocks on the page so add the grid width uh, 16 full width offset no okay create done all right now I'm gonna add a block here yeah lots of blocks so first I'll add the breadcrumbs of course because uh, I need to navigate through the pages second I'm gonna add main content main menu no that's it found okay yeah the position is correct 
well and now we can take a look at our page by the way let's go to all this page yeah I'm gonna refresh it yeah it looks exactly the same as the previous one now I'm gonna make some changes so I want to add first I'm gonna change this grid 12 yes then I'll add another grid okay, let's make it 4 yeah add some blocks like I don't know I want to suggest some hot deals to my customers and I want maybe some social links of course everybody like uh, social links all right done now let's look at the changes refresh the page again yeah that's it all the hot deals okay Cisco decided to spare me from the social links well let it be so uh, let's go back so as you can see with just a few clicks you can create a new tab and a new page from just sheer nothingness well it looks like magic but as you can see this is a pretty easy process and everybody can uh, handle it uh, by the way by adding new way out pages you can also create the new looks for the different categories uh, for example you want to your for example your electronics page to look different from the sports page from the movies page or you or if you want you can make all the pages look different you just need to create new way out page you can change the position of the blocks you can add different blocks for the different pages uh, for example you can have hot deals for the electronics and uh, you have you can have I don't know some photos or some blog posts for the sports page and so on anything you want that's it about the basic settings of layouts in CS card in the next videos we'll continue to speak about different components of uh, the layouts in a more detailed view thanks for watching and see you in the next CS card video tutorials